morning. I'm up, I'm out. It's miserable again. Don't get to pick these weather conditions, do we, very well. I'm over in the Peak District in uh, the UK, which is the backbone of England. Um, there's a lot to offer in the Peak District and uh, there's a lot more I need to discover. This place I came to last night, this is called Robin Hood. Robin Hood's Stride. Uh, rumor has it, legend has it, that uh, Robin Hood put his left and his right foot up on the top of those right rocks and that's why it's called the Stride. I was told that last night by a couple. Um, I don't know, it seems an awfully big stride. But yeah, I'm at Robin Hood Stride. Um, we've also got a, a stone circle a bit, bit further down over the other side of the field and there's some more places over the back here. I'm not sure where I'm going to head today, where I'm going to explore, but I'm, I'm out for the day so I'm going to have a look around. But I thought this morning I'll try and get some sort of sunrise on this uh, set of stones, but I don't think it's going to happen. Sunset last night was back this way, so the sunset was down over there. Um, yeah, it didn't really happen. It come really close, but it come really close to getting a really good image of the light just catching the rocks, but it didn't happen. Um, what I might try this morning, if it's grey like it is now, and it stays grey, I mean the sun's due up in about 15, 20 minutes, but if it stays grey, what I might try and do is a couple of long exposures. I haven't done them for a long time, so I'll set the tripod up, set the camera up, and try and get at least 30 seconds, maybe a minute's worth of exposure and get all the clouds moving, if that's possible, and have the rocks nice and static in the foreground before too many people turn up, or if anyone turns up. Well, I'm just in the wrong place because over in the distance I can see some mist in the valley and stuff like that. Now it might creep this way but I don't think it's going to. So I'm going to have a wander around, chill out for a little bit, drink a drop of coffee and uh, yeah just see what happens this morning. But I will be taking some pictures, you can guarantee that. Alright so I've got the camera set up and my fingers are freezing so let me just cover my fingers up for a sec. Oh, oh that's better, my thumb's not so bad but my fingers freezing. Um, yeah, the light's so grey and boring. I'm not actually shooting the main section of rocks behind me, but I will do in a bit. Um, but what I've got set up at the moment is a 13 second exposure. And I'm just going to check it and see what it came out like. Because I want to get some movement in the clouds. It's not quite enough. I'm F11, so I'm going to go up to F16. That should slow it right down. That gives me 25 seconds. So we'll do the same thing again. Now I've had to balance the composition a bit, or I've had to move the composition a little bit just to make it work for kind of what I was looking at. If the camera was too high, I was getting too much of the hillside in the background and not enough sky. If the camera was too low, then the rocks, all the rocks were pointing out into the sky. So I decided to go for something into, in between the two, sort of an intermediate. So I'm shooting straight on at the rocks. And there are the rocks I'm shooting. I've got this nice leading line from this, um, white rock at the bottom corner with all the white um, lichens or whatever the patterns are on it and then you've got the two rocks sticking up in front of me. And I think it works right. It'll probably end up a black and white, quite possibly a monochrome image. Uh, I think. So let's have a look and see what that looks like at 25 seconds. Uh, we've got movement in the clouds. Yeah we're getting some movement in the clouds now which is quite nice. Yeah we're getting some streaks and that's what I wanted to try and do. I wanted to try and get some sort of movement, some streaks coming across because it's very grey and the sky is coming towards us, but hey ho, you can't have everything, can you? Grey is grey. You know me, I shoot the conditions I, I have at the time, so uh, yeah, but I'm using the Freewheel snap-on um, filters, because they're dead easy to put on, you just literally put them straight on, and I've got them in the nice little uh, K&F pouch that I robbed off my set the other day. But, uh, mm, I'm not holding out hopeful for anything fantastic this morning, I'm sorry, but we will we will produce photographs. You know me, I love to take pictures. This rock formation is brilliant though. And lots of people have carved their names in it in different places. Rock climbers use this, I suppose practicing because it's quite small. The rock at the top is just fantastic. I will show you that. I'll have a little slight clip of it in my last messed up video. The last video was right wishy-washy, it was all over the place. But still, <laughs> that's me. Come on, let's find something else. Let's find another image. Uh, so F16, this one. Bit of a monochrome, I think, with some streaks in the sky. It'll do for a start. Yeah, I've got mewed up because there's a bit of a breeze and 
standing around making me feel a bit chilly. But I've just uh, I've just baked myself another one, as they say. Uh, the eight stop song, which is the ND64 on the front of the camera again. And uh, I'm at F11, ISO 160. And it's giving me 25 seconds. And I think, I think by the way the clouds are moving, I think it's enough to give me the streaks in the sky. I'm just getting that movement across the sky. Again, I'm just sort of clutching at straws again. I'm making the most of the conditions I've got, which is what I do a lot, as you know, if you follow me. Um, and if you don't follow me and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm always doing something, I'm always out shooting and sometimes I get lucky and get a nice bit of colour or some nice fog or mist so yeah, if you are new to the channel please uh, down at the notification bell and hit that and you'll see the videos coming up and the subscribe and don't forget to like the video, give me a thumbs up and all that sort of stuff it really really does help the channel grow and uh, I would love to grow it so yeah, there's not a lot going on at the moment look at the sky, it's just grey but you know me I keep plodding on, don't I? Taking a classic, I suppose this is the classic shot. This is a straight on view. Um, it's giving me the the rocks and everything. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll switch, the, the switch live view back on. Let's just show you what it is I'm actually shooting. Let's go on here. Why have I got no image? Because I've still got the stop on. Let's take that off the front because, oh, I can't do all this in one hand. I'm gonna have to stop and start again. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Right, so in video mode, we have the classic um, rocks right up in the top there. I wonder if I zoom out a little bit, just if that helps. So we zoom out a bit. So I've got these rocks on the top right hand side that are sticking out, one over there, and I've got one in the middle. And I've got this rock down here as like a key rock taking you up. And I'm hoping to get these streaks across the sky this way if I can, but I did zoom in a little bit just to sort of get it right tight there. So you've got this big rock formation coming up and over the top. So it's a bit boring of a composition, but um, I suppose it's the classic one that's got to be taken from here anyway. And uh, it's done now. Wouldn't it be nice with some color? Because with the sun setting that way, the sunrise should have been over that way somewhere. So if we've got a bit of a gap in the clouds, we've got some nice color over the top, but hey, you can't win them every time, can you? I'm going to go for a walk up the top, I think, and uh, I'm going to scout around for some images. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and find some leading lines and stuff. I mean, look at these. This down here is fantastic. That, look at that, that arch coming through there. That is really, really, really good the way it's cut out. It makes me wonder where water come through there at some point. Um, but yeah, just finding rocks. So you can find stuff like this one here. See this one here, which, which is taking you through the image. So there's a lead in up to that, and it looks quite good. There's a tree in the middle, so probably now is the best time to take it, but without slipping back. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take a recce shot leading up through there. So we've got the rocks in the background using that. Um, and move around again. And it's all about moving around, trying to find things that work. The birds are chirping. What about this? This is a crack in another. This is another really good leading look at that you've got these rocks there and they're leading you through the image taking you up to the rock formation you can actually see them either side of the trees from here so maybe this is a nice one maybe i'll bring the camera over here and shoot this and just try it and see what that works out like there is a bit of contrast in the sky but nothing's happening so let's let's take a couple of these recce shots just to give me some ideas of what we could get if the conditions were right So for number two, like I said, I come over, we, didn't, we walked over, we saw these rocks taking you up to the image. So again, that's what I've done. You can see there, I've used the rocks down the bottom there to try and take you through into the rocks in the background. So we've got this nice little section of rocks taking you up that way. But what I also did, because I like this bit of the bottom and I can't get it in on a frame on the camera, I took an image there and I've also tilted the camera down and took an image there. So hopefully if you can stitch these together, you should be able to get these rocks in the bottom there as that image, and then that image taken there and put the two together and you'll have these rocks leading you all the way up to the top there. What I'm gonna do now though, I'm gonna fit the camera around onto a horizontal, onto a vertical, sorry, and have it in a portrait shape. 
if you like and uh, I should be able to get all this foreground and the rocks in the background but by the time I'm being wide all the time it's making the rocks look really small but what I do like is a little tiny gap just there and you'll see it in the photographs and I had to move the camera just a few inches across just to get the biggest of that tiny little gap in between the rocks which to me makes it quite important. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here, drink my coffee, listen to the sound of the birds. Oh, that's still a bit hot. Uh, listen to the sound of the birds and just mooch around. Go and have a nose on the rocks, maybe sit up there for a bit. Put me hat on, put my hood up, keep my head warm and just take in the peace, take in the quiet. So, that's another video done. Making the most of what I've got, <laughs> conditions I've got. It's just nice being out in all fairness been a long time been at home a long time in the local area so it's just nice being out and having a look and see what's around so uh, yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the images please leave a comment please like and subscribe as normal and uh, yeah till the next one <laughs> ciao for now see you soon I've done this so, so many times where I've turned the camera off and I've switched it back on again. And you know that because the video is a lot longer than you think it is, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna take a few more images while I'm here. I'm not giving up, I'm not stopping. I, am, did, I, I did say I was gonna walk around and try and find some ideas and stuff like that. Well, look at this for an idea. Look at that tree. I do not know how that manages to grow and hang on to those rocks like it does but it's definitely got grasp of them rocks it's definitely holding on tight but it's sticking out and it's got this massive big boulder now i've took a selfie with me and i'm going to put that up on the corner of the screen look at that for a selfie the tiny little me underneath that great big massive boulder that's just sitting on the edge there but yeah i like that if, imagine a fantastic sky in the background just look at the image look at that you've got this stone circle down there in that bottom corner right down there just down there you've got this massive big boulder on the right hand side and the tree sitting there on the rule of third line bang on the third intersection and then if you had this beautiful sky over here it'd be fantastic but we haven't got the beautiful sky but it doesn't mean to say it's not going to make a nice photograph so take it the only thing wrong with it is there's a farm down at the bottom but because it's on the tree line you can soon clone that out but yeah what a fantastic shot so i'm going to take a couple more and if I don't talk, I'm just going to stick them up for you. Enjoy the last few images and I will say goodbye and I'll see you another time. Ciao.